Hello friends, welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani Das. This is an introduction to the cajon, one of our favorite hand drums. And I'm gonna, before I uh, start to play it, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this instrument, which is basically a wooden box. So I wanna show you some of the parts of the cajon before we get started. First, you'll notice that it's made of wood and on the back, is a sound hole, and this is important for the resonation of the instrument. If you're going to mic the cajon, you can put a, a bass mic or even your main mic in the back or towards the back of the cajon. I recommend miking both sides of the cajon, but if you have one mic, if it's a small uh, mic, you can mic the back, or you can mic it to pick up bass only and then mic the front with a different mic. The playing surface, um, on this cajon is the face, which is opposite the hole, and the playing surface you'll see has some screws in the front. It's also very thin. The wood is a lot thinner uh, for the front than for the rest of the cajon. This one has some feet. Many cajons have feet on the bottom, and inside there are some snares. Uh, some strings like guitar strings and those give the head um, the quality of vibrating like a snare drum. So now I'll get to teaching you some basic techniques you can use to play the cajon. When we play the cajon, we're just going to sit on it. You can keep all four corners on the ground if you want or if you prefer you can tip back a little bit just make sure you don't tip back too far. So I prefer to tip the cajon back a little because it makes it a little bit easier for me to reach into the drum head. So we're gonna learn two basic sounds. There are many sounds you can play on the cajon. To get started, we're just gonna learn two. The low tone, like many drums, we're gonna call the bass tone. And to play the bass tone, we're gonna use our hand, keep it flat, relaxed and we're going to strike the drum in the upper part of the drum at least the upper half maybe even the upper third portion you don't have to hit the drum in the middle we, we usually never hit a drum right in the middle so you don't have to reach way down into the drum head just right here is fine we'll focus the weight of our hand into our palm area and just bounce off the head like this. Nice and relaxed. Make sure you keep a small curve in your low back so you don't get sore back muscles. You can practice bass with both hands. Notice I'm bouncing off the head. If you want to do what we call a muted bass, you can keep your hand on the head, and that's a different tone. So make sure you understand the difference and you're just doing it intentionally, either bouncing off the head or staying on the head. Here's bouncing off. And here's staying on the head. So two different sounds. You can do both. Now let's learn a medium or higher pitch sound. We'll call this the edge or the slap tone. This one, you're gonna play a little bit like a conga slap or a djembe slap. You're gonna play up here towards the edge, the corner of the drum, keeping your hand relaxed with a little curve in it, just very relaxed, striking with your fingers towards the corner of the cajon. So that sound, you want it to be sharp and consistent. It's not about playing very loud or hard, just relax make sure you're comfortable. 
and then try it with both hands. Once you can do both sounds, the slap tone and the bass tone, start to do some basic exercises and mix up the two tones. You can start off very simple, playing two of each. Then if you'd like, you can explore other sounds like using just your fingertips. That's just my index fingers. You can do some uh, knuckles like knocking on the drum. And you can come up with your own sounds using other techniques that you can transfer from other instruments like conga drums. And here's a conga technique that we'll learn in future lessons, but I want to show you how I might use it on the cajon. Alright, another thing you can try if you like, just for fun, um, put the four corners of the cajon down on the ground and then if you'd like you can put your heel of your foot of your shoe into the head and you can move it up and down while you're playing. This is a common effect that many cajon players will use and you can try that as well and have fun with that. So to start off on your cajon journey, make sure you're keeping a good posture. You can put all four corners down or you can tip back a little bit. You've got two main sounds, bass and the slap sound. And then you can also do some other sounds, fingers, knuckles, you can play sounds by staying on the head, we, we call those muted tones. Or you can bounce off the head and make it more of an open sound. Okay, this is your introductory lesson to the cajon. Of course, the way you're gonna get better, like any other instrument, I need you to play with lots of music. So find some music that you like and play along. You can play very simple beats like drum set beats or any beats that you know and just join in with the music and practice and play. And you can have your students do the same thing. All right, I'm Kalani. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in a future lesson.